the Betfred Bowl is next. Uh, this is a three mile one foot on grade one. It's almost the Liverpool Meetings version of the Gold Cup, and it's a massive field for this. There's a lack of three mile handicap chases this week, so probably one of the handicappers popped into this one. Agent Decoy at the top for Padre Gogan. Babylon Balls from Unas. Chensi Aerodynamic for Vinnie Girard. Clubber Dinge Padre Gogan. Il Villar Mutt. Vinnie Girard, Hard Hysteria, Leon Van Rensburg, Saltello, Manor, Darren Thompson, The Devastator, Joshua Sutherland, Tower Hamlet for Graham Clutterbuck, Dragons Cry, Leon Van Rensburg, Galway Dancing, David Robertson, Haberley, Darren Thompson, Mallorca Dream, David Hooley, Nightclubber, Craig Beckwith, Orchards Town Lady, Matt Cooper, Popwell, David Hooley, Shatara, John Morgan, and The Shepherd, Joshua Sutherland, they're called in and away. This week's Gold Cup winner. Trying to double up if you like as they get to the first and one or two slightly dodgy jumps over that first as the rain is starting to come down now but the Devastator has come through to join Shatara and Dragons crying a three-way go for the lead. Tower Amlets is just tucked in behind them. I think they're probably going to make a lead in line of four as they get the second over the second although Tower Amlets was slow over it. Babylon Balls and Orchard's Town Lady are the back two. And Dragons cry and the Devastator from Shatara and Tower Hamlets there, the leading four. And a gap to the Shepherd. And Hamley and Seltzella Manor with El Villar Mutt. Nightclub is a bit closer this week. Craig Beckwith was saying in the forums he wasn't happy with the jockey last week. He had a live chance of taking the Gold Cup and was disappointed. Hopefully he'll do a bit better today. I'm not sure whether this track will suit it better or not. Certainly comes at a late rattle, but he won't want to leave it too late on a course like this as they head towards the third. And Dragons Cry and Shatara from the Devastator in Tower Hamlets. Shepard tucked in this week in fifth. Then Agent Decoy and Saltello Manor. Gunway Dancing Babylon Balls has made some ground up from the back. Then Sensiero Dynamic is after that one, and then Villa Mutt. Also, Orchard's Town Lady, the grey, is now getting a little bit closer. As Nightclub has dropped towards the back with Hamley and Hard Hysteria. So, three of the ones you'd expect to be near the finish, or near the front of the finish, are towards the rear at this stage. One or two mistakes again at that one. Shatara of the leading group didn't jump it all that well. Tower Hamlet has now come through to join the leading pair as they get to the fifth. And again, Shatara gave it a bit of a wallop. And need to push up its jumping if it's going to play any part in the finish. And the Devastator leads over number six. Shatara jumped that one okay. And Hard Hysteria has now been relegated to the back. And it's Leon van Rensburg's other horse, Dragon Cry, that is in the lead. So Dragon's Cry then from the Devastator and Tower Hamlets. Those three have now pulled three or four clear as they get over the seventh. And Shepard jumped into four. Shatara. Now it seems to be back on an even keel again on the inside in fifth. Little gap then to Saltello Manor, the first of Darren Thompson's pair. And then Trenciero Dynamic is next with Agent Decoy on the inside. And El Villar Mott Nightclubber still quite wide on the track, but getting a little bit closer as they get over number eight. Oh, I made a mistake there by Nightclubber. Also, Pop World was a bit untidy. Still got a long way to go, another circuit to go yet, plus the end of this current one they'll be racing over this next fence and over there they go a mistake there by Saltello Manor and Darren Thompson and that's Clubber Dinges now dropped to the back with Galway Dancing and look at this Shatara it's certainly come through to take a share of the lead after hitting a few of those fences down the back this fence will be the last on the next circuit Shatara landed just in the lead from Devastator on the inside, then Tower Amlets, Dragon Cry just being given a bit of a breather, then the Shepherd who's plenty close enough, then Chensiero Dynamic, Gap of two lengths to the second of Vinnie Gerard's pair in the Green El Villar Mutt, then comes Saltzella Manor and Agent Decoy, Babylon Bors is after that one, and then Mallorca Dream and Hard Hysteria getting close to the Grey Orchard's Town Lady on the inside, Nightclubber is still rolling around in mid-division, then Haberley after that one, and Clubber Dinge and Galway dancing at the back two. And they're completing this long run now towards fence number 11. And the Devastator has regained the lead from Shatara. Dragons try now coming around the outside as Tower Hamlets tries to go up the inner. 
and this for a clear by about two or three lengths to last week's gold cup winner the shepherd back in fifth and Chinchiero Dynamic and El Villar Mutt as they get to the 11th and they all get over that one okay all still on their feet and there's only about a six and a half furlongs to go and one or two of these out the back are going to have to start making their moves soon as they get over the 12th and Shatara is in the lead from Dragon's Cry and the Devastator then Tower Hamlet the Shepherd is next then El Villar Mutt and Chinchiero Dynamic and after that one is Salcello Menor as they get over the next Shatara and Dragon's Cry, the Devastator just tucked in, the Shepherd is now fourth, Tower Hamlets is now being pulled out for a run, the one going really well there is El Villa Mutt as they take the 14th, just three more to take then now, now all of a sudden Nightclubber starts to make a move from the back, so too the Salcedo Manor and they're suddenly beginning to bunch up top as Shatara is tackled by Tower Hamlets, Tower Hamlets then has now taken it up from Shatara, then here on the outside comes Salcedo Manor coming through with a great looking run, Dragon's Cry caught a bit one pace, the Shepherd is boxed in as they get over the third last and over that third last it's Shatara who's two lengths clear of Saltello Manor Dragons Cry, El Villar Mutton, Chinchiero Dynamic, Mallorca Dreams come from absolutely nowhere, Nightclub is cruising on the outside as they come down towards the second last fence then and over the second last Shatara lands in the lead, oh he's gone Nightclub has fallen and it's Shatara is in the lead, Shatara is in front from Saltello Manor, here comes the Shepherd now coming through with a strong looking challenge Dragons Cry is there as well but the Shepherd hits the front coming down towards the last it's the Shepherd who's gone on. The Shepherd being pressed now by Dragon's Cry. The big two now coming towards the final fence. Over it they go. And it's the Dragon's Cry in the lead. The Shepherd, the Devastator's now come through to challenge as well. The Devastator, he's devastatingly getting up on the near side to take it. The Devastator with your Dragon's Cry. The Shepherd, Chinsio, Dynamic, Shatara. Then the Yorker Dream. And then Babylon Balls was right out the back. And the ranks that was pretty mundane up until the final two or three fences and then it all started to happen and the Devastator takes it for Joshua Sutherland beats his gold cup winner Dragon's Cry was second for Leon Van Rensburg the Shepherd for Joshua Sutherland's last week's hero was back in third the fourth one was Chinchy Aerodynamic for Vinnie Joe that's for a massive race and Shatara for John Morgan despite those mistakes who on to be fifth but what on earth would have happened if Nightclub hadn't have fallen because he was coming through to make a challenge just as he crashed out. So, some severe bad luck for Craig Beckwith in the last couple of weeks. He's got a couple of weeks left though to make up for it.